Hello everyone. So uh, let's see a design problem. So the question given to us is design an asynchronous sequence system which has the following properties. So it says so uh, the first property is it has two inputs x1 and x2 and one output set. Then both inputs never change simultaneously. The output remains at zero as long as x1 is zero and irrespective of changes in x2. Then the output becomes 1 at every transition of x2 provided x1 is 1 and then we have another statement the output remains at 1 till x1 is 1 and returns to 0 when x1 comes back to 0. So let's start analyzing this uh, statement that is given. So initially what they have given is uh, there are two inputs that is uh, x1 x2 and one output z. So let me have two inputs one is x1 x2 and the output is z. Then they have said uh, both inputs never change uh, simultaneously. So it means that uh, it never goes into a racing state. So it means like I cannot have a state from 0, 0 to 1, 1 or from 1, 1 to 0, 0 or like 0, 1 to 1, 0 and the other way 1, 0 to 0, 1 since I have two bits here. So that is not possible. So they say this is not possible. So anyhow, uh, we are going to build a circuit that is uh, race free but still it's okay to understand this point now the other three points are of much importance here the first point says the output remains at zero as long as x1 is zero irrespective of changes in x2 so initially let's assume the inputs and outputs are everything is zero let's say this is the initial state and what they say is the output remains at zero as long as x1 is zero so as long as x1 is zero y1 could be uh, sorry x2 could be either 0 or 1 so as long as x1 is 0 whatever may be the changes in x2 so that's what they say irrespective of changes in x2 the output remains at 0 so the output at this point is also 0 then apart from this the next point what they've given the output becomes 1 at every transition of x2 provided x1 is equal to 1 so it means when x1 is 1 x1 is equal to 1 so this is what they have given when x1 is 1 for every transition of x2 so x2 might change from 0 to 1 or when x1 is 1 x2 might change from 1 to 0 so if this is possible then the output becomes 1 so that's what they mean by this point and the last point the output remains at 1 till x1 is 1 and returns to 0 when x1 comes back to 0 so it means when uh, x1 is 1 the output remains at 1 till x1 is 1 and returns to 0 when x1 comes back to 0 so it means when x1 is 1 and the next state x1 is retained as 1 then z value is 1 that's what is meant by this point and suppose currently x1 is 1 and in next state or next transition it becomes 0 then z value is equal to 0 so that is from 1 to 0 and here it is from 1 to 1 so currently it is 1 now it is moving to 1 now currently it is 1 it is moving to 0 then z value is 0 so these are all the hints given to us with the help of these hints we can build the state tree so once the state tree is done then we can uh, go for the state chart so let's start with the uh, initial state tree so initially uh, let me say the values are 0 0 and 0 so let's have 0 0 and 0 so let's call this state as a so the possible states are 0 1 and 1 0 so if you have uh, 0 1 so x1 is 0 so i'm going to take this as a hint x1 is retained as 0 but there is a change in x2 but anyhow the output will be 0 so this is a new state what we have let's call this new state as b and uh, x1 is changed from 0 to 1 we don't have any hints like that x1 changing from 0 to 1 this hint corresponds to x1 changing from 1 to 0 so even we cannot take this as an important factor so since this hint is not given that is x1 is changing from 0 to 1 which is not given we can take the output as the previous state so the output is retained the output doesn't change
output is retain same state so previously the output was zero so here also the output is zero so since this is a new state we can call this as c now from b we can have two more states rising up so zero one either i can have zero zero as one state or i can have one one so the x is zero x one is zero x two is changed so we can take this hint so again the output is zero and uh, if you see this state has already been taken up which is ca so no more branches possible at this end so this is the end of this branch i was speaking about this one x1 changes from 0 to 1 so i'll be taking the previous states output that is 0 so since this is a new state we can call this state as d now let's explore the state c So if you explore the state C, then uh, we can have 0, 0 as one option and the other option could be 1, 1. So if it is 0, 0, x1 changes from 1 to 0. So it means uh, this is the hint what we are going to use. x1 changes from 1 to 0 irrespective of whatever we have in x2. So x1 changes from 1 to 0, so the output will be 0. Output is 0. So let's take this as uh, again this is a which is already explored so we're not going to explore it further now let's go for this one 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 so x1 is retained as one whereas x2 is changing from 0 to 1 so x1 is retained as 1 and x2 is changing from 0 to 1 so output is 1 so 1 1 followed by 1 if you see 1 1 followed by 1 is again a new state for us so let's call this as e so let's uh, explore this further so if you explore this uh, further then uh, this is not possible i can start from d so if i start from d i can have one zero or zero one so if it is one zero x one is one whereas x two is changed so we have an output of one so 1 0 with an output 1 is new to us because the previous 1 0 output 0 was C. So this time let's call this as F. Now here 0 1 x 1 changes from 1 to 0. So when x 1 changes from 1 to 0 the output is 0. So since this state is already been explored I think this is B. Yeah. So we will stop this branch here. So let's go with E. So E will be when I explore E, I have 1, 0 as one combination followed by 0, 1 as the other combination. So if we take this branch, x1 is retained as 1, whereas x2 is changed from 1 to 0. So we will take this hint, the output is 1. Since this state is already explored, I think this is F. Yeah. And uh, we have 0, 1 on the other branch. So x1 changes from 1 to 0. So obviously the output is 0. So 0, 1 within output 0 is already B which is explored. So we cannot explore this further. So let's try to explore F. So if I take F further, it's on one hand I will be having 1, 1 followed by another branch you will be having 0, 0. So if you take this one x1 is 1 whereas x2 is changed from 0 to 1. So x1 is 1, x2 is changed from 0 to 1 so the output is 1. 1, 1 with an output 1. This state is already explored, this is E. So we can stop this branch further. So here x1 changes from 1 to 0 and uh, x2 changes 0 to 0. The x1 changes from 1 to 0 irrespective of change in x2 so the output is 0 which is nothing else but the state A. So since this state is also explored we will close this branch. If you come back to the left out state F which is already explored in the previous state so we are not going to explore this further. So since all the branches and all the nodes are explored we will stop the state tree. 
so this is the state tree from this state tree we can easily draw the state chart so let's start drawing the state chart so the first state is first state is a with an output 0 so if you pass 0 0 to a it comes back to a itself then now uh, we have uh, from a if i pass 0 1 i reach b with an output 0 so 0 1 so from b if you pass 0 1 you will land at b itself and from a if you pass 1 0 you will land at c with an output 0 so c is input value is 1 0 now uh, from b if you pass 0 0 you go back to a so from b if i pass 0 0 i go back to a and uh, from c if i pass 0 0 i go back to a again so from c if i pass 0 0 i go back to a and similarly from b if i have 1 1 i can go back to d so if it is 1 1 i land at d with an output 0 so d's self loop is 1 1 and from d if you pass 1 0 you go to f so f with an output 1 so from d if you pass 1 0 you go to f from d, d if you pass 0 1 you go back to b so this is 0 1 and similarly i'm coming back to c so c if we pass 0 0 you go back to a from c if we pass 1 1 you go back to e so let me draw e with an output 1 so from c if i pass 1 1 i go back to e so e self status 1 1 whereas f self status 1 0 so this part is over so from e if i pass 1 0 i come to f so 1 0 similarly from e if you pass 0 1 you go to b so 0 1 this, so this part is over now this part f with 1 1 i go to e so f with an input 1 1 you go to e f with an input 0 0 you go to a so maybe we can take a route around Okay, some let me draw this again. So from F, if I pass 0, 0, I go to A. Similarly, from F, if you pass 1, 1, you go to E. So that part is done. So I think we are pretty good. So the state chart is done. So with the help of this state transition diagram or state chart, we can build up the further steps and finally draw the circuit. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, please do comment in the comment section. Thank you.